Example 2. Solve negative 2 times x plus 6 minus, in brackets, 3x minus 7 equals 10. Now it's slightly different than the previous, and this is about as tough as these get. So let's give it a try. Let's begin with our distribution. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 6 is negative 12. Now, our negative in front of these brackets can be handled in a couple of ways. Some teachers would say, to remove the brackets with a negative in front, just switch the sign of all the terms in those brackets. And that's totally legit. But I find that students see it easier as if there was just a negative 1 out front here. So, we'll just distribute like normal and multiply everything in the brackets by negative 1. So, negative 1 times positive 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. And we're left with 10 on the other side. We notice here that we have a bunch of like terms floating around on the left side. The negative 2x and the negative 3x are like terms. So they could be joined to form negative 5x. Also, negative 12 and positive 7 are also like terms, just numbers. So they could be combined to give, well, negative 12 plus 7 is negative 5. So now our question looks much more manageable. To isolate the x, we want to get rid of the negative 5. So let's add 5 to both sides. On the left, we have negative 5x, and on the right, we have 10 plus 5 is 15. Now we'll divide both sides by negative 5, and that leaves us with x on the left, and 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3 on the right. So our solution is negative 3. Again, it looks like a really complicated question, but if we just follow step by step and keep ourselves super organized, it'll all work out in the end.